Hey guys, gang, and welcome to Path of Exile Heist Videos. Uh, today, as I promised in my video yesterday, we are going to go through setting up the Chaos Recipe tool. Now, this tool is featured in Baylor Mage's PoE Tools video, it's featured in Spicy Sushi's new heist video, both of those are linked below in the description. Um, both of those are also on my Google document and it features very heavily in pretty much all of my heisting. The Chaos Recipe tool is invaluable. Um, whether you're f actually going out of your way to farm it in the baby heist strategy or whether it's an addition to your early map farming or your heist farming, um, as long as you're staying within the levels for the Chaos Recipe, you should have it switched on and just be collecting the items. So the first thing you've got to do is go to GitHub and get Chaos SP. So that's here, coming on the screen now. There you go. Uh, and then you just scroll down and um, download the relevant um, one. And uh, yeah, once it's downloaded and installed, you open it up. Now, please note that this uh, entire app is in white and black there currently is no way to change that so I'm going to bring the tool on my main screen and now please be aware this is a very bright white app there it is uh, and this is the chaos recipe tool now mine is set up I'm not going to go through downloading it and uh, setting it up again but this is um, this is the chaos recipe tool so first of all, most of this is going to be blank, if not all of it. Uh, you fill in your account name as it shows up on pathofexile.com once you've logged in. The PoE session ID, the easiest way to get this is to go onto the PoE trade website. Um, PoE.com slash trade slash search. Um, and at the moment slash standard because that is the only league that is currently running or hardcore depending on what league you are um, and then press the default key on keyboards is F12 that will then bring up another screen on the train website and on there in big capitals a few lines from the top it says uh, POE SES ID uh, POE SESSID if you click on that line, a box will open further below and give you a long string of letters and numbers. You just need to highlight that with your mouse and then um, right click copy or control C, or copy it however you want to, and then paste it in this. This will be a blank box. Now, I, I'm not going to show you this on screen because if someone has your PoE SES ID, they can actually hack into your account. Once that's done, it will propagate a drop down list of all of the GGG standard um, leagues at the moment. So, obviously, once 3.19 goes live, this will be on the list as well. Or you can actually then type in a custom league yourself, such as private leagues, etc. We then come down to recipes, and you can see here um, they've got three. Um, but the one we're interested in is in the chaos recipe so click there always click this um, do never include identified items this will reduce the amount of chaos you get the idea is you get a full set of gear which I'll go through in a moment uh, you sell it all to a vendor and that gives you two chaos orbs back because they're un id'd if you include id'd items you'll only get one chaos orb back so that's the recipes. Over to the general, you can set how many sets you want to collect before the tool will tell you that it's done and it's time to hand in everything. I always go for 10. Uh, 10 is the number I do because it takes between 40 minutes to an hour depending on your luck on getting the gear drops. I have mine on ID and then the stash tab, stash tab indies as zero. And then what you need to do is go into your stash tab and have that tab um, right on the f as the first tab and then you need to match whatever it is so that's my zero there and you click OK 
you can use a normal tab if you want to it just depends on how many sets I prefer using a quad tab um, because of the 10 sets plus it holds all of my contracts for baby heist and my rug markers um, if you have a spare quad tab then go for it you can set up multiple tabs you just need to tell the uh, chaos recipe, recipe tool which one you're currently in <coughs> excuse me it has great difficulty tracking multiple tabs it is an option I just don't use it because um, invariably it can fail so one quad tab is the best way to go don't do this um, it slows the tool down rapidly um, and you're better off doing it manually um, also because we're running heist um, heist it doesn't recognize new contracts as a map which is fine because they're not so don't never press that then you have to tell it where your log is which is just uh, finding it that's the usual uh, destination on um, PC so you'll just need to um, find yours and pop that in there choose your language um, uh, that's personal option then you can set your hotkeys um, to, to, to do what you need to do I just use the tool itself I don't bother with hotkeys and then you can choose your sounds um, I've never played around with this but you apparently you can set your own sounds so there we go on to the overlays um, again I've never really uh, played with any of the op opacity or the lock position um, because sometimes you need to move it in game if you've got a passive point you need to spend or if you're running in maps some league mechanics um, can't be accessed because uh, I have mine just about here on PoE so um, oops lost chaos recipe come back there it is um, I have mine here and sometimes the league mechanic button is there and, and you can't quite press it because the chaos recipe tool is in the way so uh, if you you have yours anyway like on your screen uh, depends on your screen setup um, that's all the, the settings there you can play with those and this is the most important part loop filter you have to have the loop filter manipulation ticked on and you have to tell it where to find your loop filter now this only works for downloaded filters not subscribed filters Subscribe filters is where you can go onto the PoE website, um, pick a content creator, and follow their filter, and you, that's it. You're done. You don't have to do anything else. As long as that content creator keeps that filter updated, you'll get all your filters. For this tool to work, you have to download it onto your hard drive, and then point the recipe tool where it is. So that's um that's where mine are in the documents and there are all my current filters um, yes I have two because in in STD standard um, and I don't need as much stuff as I do on a league filter so that's why I've got two and then the rest are my grind time filter is for T16 grinding just out of interest uh, and then choose your filter um, point at it and then it'll go in there and that's that done this is the colors um, you can set up what colors it drops um, if you've watched any of my videos you'll see these dropping um, this turns it into a, a dark red background with white writing um, it's a lot easier for me to pick that up but you can set it to whatever you like there is a very wide range of colors full color spectrum there in advanced or you can just tick the, the standard colors that they have set it's entirely your choice and then these boxes here tell it to override the number of uh, sets you have in my experience you get enough of everything um, the only two to worry about are rings and amulets you can see you can build up a lot of rings however you can also go through a dry spell uh, so it's best to leave them on amulets are the worst um, they always have been they probably always will be the way to get around this is to run lock picking contracts and hope to get jewelry rather than currency I know that's a bit weird but uh, the jewelry ones have a high chance of dropping the rings uh, amulets and belts people forget belts are classed as jewelry 
uh, and that will help you get through that as well uh, so that's that once that's done um, and it's ready to go you can run the overlay there we go and this is what you have seen in many of my videos so this is uh, the colors that match what the colors you choose on the tool um, now what you need to do is uh, because heist can only can take a very quick time you need to be quite careful um, you press fetch and it will go to the um, tab you have told the recipe tool to be in there it goes and it will update and it will tell you how many you have out of uh, that's how I've got mine set up so I've got zero gloves zero helms 71 rings eight amulets and a belt uh, two chests and one pair of boots uh, which is I don't know about the rings I'm not gonna count them but the other things are correct um, and then what you need to do is go into your options on here and make sure you are on the right filter so I'll just match that so this matches the filter you have put in the chaos recipe tool itself save close and then you can reload bam now that makes sure that your filter is following the chaos recipe tool without hitting this it won't update so if you collect 10 chests but do not hit fetch or, or I say 10 because that's how many sets I have and then do not hit fetch and reload afterwards the chaos recipe tool won't know that you have completed your number of chests um, once you have completed it which if I just click off uh, rings on my filter stop overlay click off rings so now on the overlay you can see rings are no longer selected as ignoring the set limit uh, save settings run overlay and then we collect uh, hit fetch again you can hear that little ding and it's blacked out to say that I have 10 or more rings really filter rings will no longer show for the chaos recipe tool on your filter and this is very important because if you don't keep this these two updated then you could be picking up stuff you don't need or it won't show stuff you need especially if you've completed a whole lot these are all grey out and it'll say sets complete at that point you can go up to whichever vendor you're selling to and sell all your stuff and make all your chaos orbs once you've done that again it's very important to hit the fetch button and reload filter to reset your filter um, it sounds harder than it is it is just a matter of getting into the habit of doing it um, unless I'm getting close so like if I've got seven plus here I generally don't do this um, that's just experience if you do it after every contract you do depending on how fast you're doing them um, it might break sometimes you hit the fetch button the little bar will come along to say it's loading and nothing will happen if that's the case you do need to give it a couple of minutes it means uh, because there's a slight interaction with the um, Peewee API there may be a delay this is very this is, can be a lot more on day one you just get that so many people playing the game it can slow down the API um, so you might just have to wait what happens is you press fetch it'll it'll go white that thing there and that's it because I've just done it recently it, it, it'll now sit there it won't update it won't do anything so you just have to wait you can stop the overlay close down chaos recipe tool and open it again which will um, bypass this little delay but that means it'll wipe out whatever data it's been holding and all these will be zero so you'll have to hit fetch and reload anyway um, so it can there it is so you can hit it again so what I'll do now is just turn rings back on save settings stop overlay run overlay fetch there you go reload filter and now my rings are back on um, so that is one thing to be aware of there's not much the developers can do about it it's just the interaction with the API um, so yeah these two are probably the most important buttons if you want to you can use the stash button uh, when you uh, when you've got this open you use the stash button and it will show you your stash and it'll tell you approximately where to pick up stuff 
Um, I don't use this because sometimes it can go wrong and it frustrates me so I just use my eyeballs and uh, what I do is invariably my uh, inventory will be open because I have 10 sets so it'll be I will pick up let's just dump these in here for a minute I'll pick up my two chests I will pick up my weapons um, these are the only weapons the chaos recipe tool will show one by threes or uh, two by three bows bows two by three bows count as two weapons so I generally do the work of the bows first when I'm doing the handing it in I get my weapons so one two and then three four here I would then pick up my uh, two boots one one two two gloves one oops two uh, two boots one two then I would pick up the belts so it's your two belts so that will go there and that will go there mm -mm. and then you would do your rings and amulets one two three four one two I'm missing something weapons rings no I'm not yeah one two one two three four that's it yeah because those two would be weapons so there's your weapon slots I uh, missed the weapon so you got one you have uh, two boots two gloves two helms that's better um, and then one belt here one belt there and then one belt there which will leave you this little eight section here two amulets four rings and then it'll leave you two slots for your chaos orbs to go in you hand that into the vendor you get your chaos uh, chaos back it will sit up in this corner because your inventory is open I split the uh, four chaos orbs into two piles and sits there and that's what I do I just continually do that until I have um, emptied the ten sets uh, once I've done that I will uh, then put my chaos in my tab uh, reset my thing fetch reload filter and carry on and, and do the next set of ten and do and, and rinse and repeat each set of ten will give you uh, 20 chaos orbs it doesn't sound a lot but when you're also picking up all the things out of the heist as well you generally can make between 50 and 100 chaos per 10 sets uh, and depending on your setup and your speed um, and drops I once had it where I needed one glove and it just it took about 40 minutes just to get that one glove I, I had gone through the endless high cycle of um, leveling up and deleveling so many times I was so frustrated and then it dropped from um, in the tunnels you get those big mobs with the wings I don't know what they're called but I killed one of those and it dropped the gloves that was it I picked up the gloves I didn't even finish that contract I ran out of the contract I put it in my slash tab hit fetch and it came up sets complete and that was a really good feeling at that time it sometimes can screw you um, but most of the time it, it's I would say for 10 sets with a decent um, on my baby heist build that I've uh, done takes between uh, 40 minutes and an hour it just it can take less than that it just depends on your drops and uh, plus any rings or amulets you may have already banked up from previous runs so that's it that's the chaos recipe tool um, I hope you found this helpful Stay safe in Rogue Harbour.